Cy Young contenders in the National League. Hunjin Ryu, uh, look, he is the all-star game starter. He has led the league in ERA seemingly the entire year. Then Scherzer, brilliant, the Cy Young winner. Castillo has been a real pleasant surprise for the Reds. And then Mike Soroka, who doesn't quite qualify yet for the ERA title, but he will. He's close right now. He has also been brilliant, the all-star for the Atlanta Braves. So the NL Cy Young favorite, TC, right now, who do you got? Well, I'm going with Ryu right now. You look at what he's done uh, this season. You know, he's he's had some injury problems in the past, but now he's showing you that he, how good he can be. Uh, I saw him a couple of years ago. He's got outstanding stuff. His command's outstanding. You look at all of his numbers, and at this particular point, I'm not going to count Scherzer out. The season's a long way from over, yeah. but, but right now I'm going with Ryu. Yeah, you know I'm going to go with Scherzer. I, I, I was thinking Ryu, but the more I was delving into Scherzer and what he's done, and especially what he's meant to this Nationals ball club. Now, Ryu has been the, the ace of the staff, but Scherzer has really brought the Nationals back into the playoff picture. And he's got pretty similar numbers to Ryu, but when it comes to strikeouts, much different. Mm -hmm. Almost 70, 80 more than Ryu. When you talk about pitcher's war, he's almost two points higher as well. And then you just talk about the competitiveness if you need to win a game. But most important for me, the Nationals, that first third of the season, they look like it was going to be one of the most disappointing years ever. And he is single-handedly, Scherzer has, I mean, he has continued to pitch. He didn't lose in June. Yeah. Did not lose in June. And you remember that game where, you know, he'd come out after he yeah, bunted the ball, ball had the black guy, the nose. Right? Yeah. And then comes out and deals the next day. So I... I'm going to give it to Scherzer. I'm going away from my Dodgers. I'm wow. going to Scherzer. Right? Well, they, they say that pitchers can't be leaders uh, because they only play once every five mm -hmm. days. Does he break that mold for you? Yeah, Dad? he's such a competitor. It's unbelievable. You watch him pitch, and he's into it. He is into it. I mean, he, and he never wants to come out. He wants the ball. Every inning, he does, don't even mention pitch count to him. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's why I said I'm not going to count him out. But you know what? It's always nice to have good pitching. And, and if, if the Nationals get themselves a, a little bullpen help, I mean, Max Scherzer, he's going to get it. If you play those guys in a one-game series and he's on the mound, you got problems. That, that is a problem. But the only thing that could really stop maybe EK, your argument, or the Nationals or Scherzer is his health because he's not pitching against the right. Braves this weekend. It's not by choice. He received a quarter-zone shot earlier this week, and he's he's been on the injury list dealing with inflammation in the bursa sack under his right shoulder blade. Nationals ace has not made a start since July the 6th. He has been able to play catch, but he says it kind of feels like a golf ball back there. It's uh... So the Astros win. They beat the Rangers, who are trying to hang in this playoff race. Four to three, back to back to back home runs. Verlander, we showed you the home runs, but just the two earned runs in six innings. Uh, you know, and so you look at the Astros, TC. We know they have Verlander and Cole, which is as good, if not better, than anybody else. Right. We know their bullpen back in. Last, last couple, really, really good. But do they need another starter? I mean, how desperate are they, do you think, for another starter if they're able to win the World Series? Well, I like Miley. Miley's a usable guy. He, you know, he, he eats up a lot of innings for you. But they're going to need another starter. You know, last week they went back two games in a row where they had used the opener and didn't, didn't fare very good. And you know what ends up happening when you blow your bullpen out you know, in a game that you, know, you ultimately lose? And tomorrow night you need them, you don't have them. So I think for them, they've got a great club. They've got tremendous talent. You know, they've got the number one and number two, but they're going to need a fourth starter. Yeah, they have to get somebody to occupy that third spot in the playoffs, right? It's, they're going to be fine, I believe, to get to the postseason. I don't think the A's catch them. But when you're talking about Verlander, Cole, and then Miley, Miley for me is your, your fourth or, or, or if you need a fifth starter, but not my number three. Because I'm going to go against teams that, you know, again, like if I get to the World Series and I'm going against the Dodgers, I could be facing Kershaw in the third game. Right. And I'm going Miley versus Kershaw. And I just, I feel like they can go out there, or they should go out there. It's the one thing that they need to do. They need to get one of those top-of-the-line starters and put them in the third spot. Then they become the team to beat in the American The top-of-the-line starter, though, does that guy exist? And, 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 and my second follow-up to that would be, you know, We've talked about like a guy like Stroman, who right. I think we all feel is like a middle of the rotation guy. Like, would he help the Yankees? Ah, not so sure. Would he help the Brewers? Not so sure. Would he though help them because they have Verlander and Cole? Well, I, I think he helps them. You mentioned those other teams. They get Stroman, and they feel like he's got to be a top of the rotation guy, like a one or two. And and I don't think he fits that bill. But I think his his competitiveness, his stuff, you know, the I don't want to the arrogance in a good way. I think you put him in that third spot in Houston, and he 
he pitches above who he is. I agree. I, I agree. I, you know, he's a, he's a very, very good pitcher. But he just makes you, he, all of a sudden, you know, it, it, it kind of solidifies the rotation. It gives you four solid, man, mm-hmm. and again, I'm a real believer the way postseason is being played now, Kevin. You know, you're not looking to get seven innings out of these guys. You know, Verlander's going to give you seven. Cole's going to give you seven. And after that, it's, hey, if you get five, you're going to your bullpen. Heck, if you get three nowadays, yeah, Terry. Really, oh. yeah. Good job. He gave yeah. us three. So let's go out of the pen. So we'll see what the Astros do 